Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to, um, to again. This will probably be the la final let's play of Number One Fire Rescue. This is an uh, introduction to the Mission 15 Road Fire 5. This is by far the hardest mission in the game. I'll watch you, I'll basically break it down for you once you see it. It's not too complex in that you don't have to crawl through buildings and all that stuff. It's pretty wide open. Unfortunately, they dump everything, there is fire everywhere. And I mean literally all the road and all of the grass. And there's where the problem is, because the grass fire, you have to literally be, you can, the water will hit most areas, but not put out the fire effectively, unless you're almost on a direct line of sight. It's kind of strange that way, it, it does hit the fire, but not as effectively as a direct line of sight. It's wide open field, with grass, you have a barricade, you have to use the water to reach it, because nothing else will reach it. It's, well, relatively nothing else. Your phone will reach somewhat, but you still have to use the water to hit the back of it. And it's just, you have this, you have to do, put the, the grass fire out, and the road fire, and rescue to the victims, all under four minutes. It's fun, fun mission. And I will have, I already have a set of fails lined up, because it'll, this mission will have its own let's fail especially for you but I'll go ahead and introduce uh, go ahead and introduce it for you there is a large traffic pileup at a major highway intersection a tanker has leaked and an unidentified flammable substance on the nearby grass rescue any victims and extinguish all fires by the description you would think it's class B fires but like I said you can use water on all fires and they do it doesn't criticize you for doing so but <laughs> which is more effective as far as the water or the foam that's to be determined uh, I'll probably have to play through it to find out you'll see one of the successful let's play you'll see which one I use so it's time to start it get it started Five dispatch. Respond multi-vehicle accident on the on-ramp from westbound I-74 to northbound I-465. Dispatch 65, copy 75 west to 465 north. We're en route. 65 dispatch. Troopers on scene have secured the area. Use extreme caution as a tanker carrying an unspecified flammable liquid is leaking and could ignite at any moment. Several victims are reported trapped in burning vehicle. <laughs> Well, that's probably why it's four minutes, because they figure the tanker is going to explode within a matter of time. That's the only reason why it would be so short. But again, the liquid is obviously affected by water, so there you go. Have fun watching my video. So, yeah, I found out how to do this mission. You basically have the water, and you don't let go of it. You have to go pretty much effectively. Just keep the hand of finger on the water button and just keep it, keep it depressed. You don't. You do not use anything but water, as far as I can effectively tell. You have to basically take all, use this fire, section it off. Keep your hand on the finger, on the button. Just keep free spray the water, and you have to basically use your up and down motion to get the fire close and far away. That's how you fight this fire. And yes, you can do it at an angle, but it kind of, I mean, certain places you have to do it at an angle, but certain places you can't. See that section right there? 
I probably can probably get over it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? It's more direct with line of sight. It's better hitting, hitting the fire than hitting that angle. Got a live one, get him out of here. 